Welcome back to Thyanai Plays Xenoblade Chronicles 3 on the last episode. We we truly got to saw, saw, got to see how far someone would go to gather data about the Ouroboros power. We got kidnapped, we got drugged, we had to fight some monsters. Monsters? Technically monster. We had to fight a big robot. Yeah, that we, it was all easy to deal with. On this episode, we're going to do a teensy tiny bit of exploration before we get to more side quests. We've, uh, I think, I think it's time to start uh, our circuit around Ionios and actually go to all of the colonies and see how everyone is doing. What, are you talking about a cave or an item? Because yes to both of those. But we are going to, uh, we're going to... I, in the short term, yes. In the short term, we are going to Nid Cave. But um, in the long term, over the course of the next few episodes, we're actually going to do more than just going through caves. Although, eh, maybe depending on um, how uh, the quests turn out, we might go into more caves. But we are going to go around the uh, colonies. There are two locations I want to do in this episode uh, before I do that for the... Um, Burning Curiosity? No, Writer's Block. The Writer's Block quest. There is someone in the city who wants uh, inspiration about the Founders, so we need to go to various places around Ionios to um, find ancient relics and locations and inspiration. So that is where we're going. I should probably show off on the map where we're actually going. We are going to try and make our way to this location here, and I believe... I believe it's through Nid Cave. I think it wraps around to where we need to go. If not, um, well, that's not something for you guys to worry about because I could just deal with that myself. Kind of because uh, this is a rather um, a confusing place. I will say that this particular area is uh, full of caves. Well, no, not full, full of caves, but there is uh, no shortage of caves. And uh, because of that, all of the twists and turns... It can get uh, real confusing real quick on where to go. And as you can see, I've already gotten confused and lost. Um, oh, we should probably help, help in those at some point because that will allow us to get... Oh, I believe that's where we're going? No. Uh, spoilers, we need to get to uh, the distant fingertip. That is the location of the item. And I believe those vines up in front of us is actually where we're going what are you guys talking about you guys don't have to worry about anything we'll do a, a an in-depth exploration to all of this later on it's not super important but um still still we're not gonna worry about it we're not gonna worry about it i want to collect all of these bee roots no i am uh, luckily we're at a point Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Alexandria, that's the power of vines. It's a magical thing. Luckily, we're at a point where we don't actually have to... We're not forced into fighting all of these monsters. We are at a high enough level for that not to matter. And that is something that... It, it's one of the reasons why I want to do these quests sooner rather than later. Because I realize it's a rather self-fulfilling cycle. The more side quests we do, the more monsters we face during the side quests... And the more levels we get, and the more levels we get, the easier things get. I realize that this is self-fulfilling, but it is important that we do it um, sooner rather than later. So this this should absolutely be a some place you recognize because it is the exact same as it is in Xenoblade Chronicles 1, and that is a lovely thing. But uh, it is a long climb. It is a very long climb. I don't know where the other one is. I believe I have a good idea on where the second objective for this quest is i'm pretty sure it's at uh there was like a spiral mound really early on in the um places that we've explored in the fornis region and i think i think it might be at the top of that i think i believe at the very least it's in that area but that's where we're going oh we're at the top of the first leg of our palm climbing race there's just one more uh, stretch of uh, climbing to do, and then we're good. But to talk a little bit more about uh, the plan going forward, I realize we've been doing side quests for an extremely long time. I 
trust me, I realize. Hopefully the side quests are engaging enough and, you know, like there are enough hero quests interspersed between all of that to get your fill of voice act and cutscenes and everything like that. But I do feel like it's important to do all the side quests. I do want to show off as much content as possible. I'm almost certainly not going to do absolutely everything. I am no expert in this game. I don't know absolutely every detail about every quest that exists. So I am liable to miss a few. But uh, there, it's just probably going to be one last circuit around all the colonies. So we're going to do colony, we're gonna to go to colony 30. No, not colony 30, colony four. We're gonna to go to Ethel's old colony. Boliaris is acting commander's colony now. Right down there uh, in this episode after we do these two locations. And then we'll probably go check out 30 and then probably work our way back to the Etia region to do nine and um, gamma, lambda. I forget. It's wow, gamma, isn't it? This, really this place always takes your Alexandria. Have you been here before? I suppose it's not the w most strange of things for a colony in the Fornus region to be up here, but it's a lovely uh, secret area to find. Granted, as it's a lovely as long as you don't have to deal with um. Invisible bots. Invisibots. I think this might be more than just coincidence. Do you think they're after the same things we are? Heh, <laughs> if that's true, then I guess we're onto some pretty good ideas. We're onto something pretty good. Right, if people are going to such lengths to protect a thing, or at the very least to stop us, then it's something we want to find. Let's put all of our new classes to the test against some monsters. Mysterious raiders. Right. As, as, um, I don't even know what Alexandria's class is called, but we have Reversal Edge, which is a critical hit, uh, like a, a bonus critical attack if you, uh, use that art in the middle of an enemy's art, which is very good. We also have something, um, Glitter Stream, which is a side break. It's just a classic, if you're by the side, you've got some, uh, side breaks. And then Ashwinder, which is back, back, blah, 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 blah. critical hit rate, like a boosted crit rate from a behind. So definitely a lot of this stuff is, as always, built around critical hits. So definitely want uh, to do as much damage through the crits as possible because every crit raises uh, the power of the, uh, the attacks from the class. So it's all very good. Very good indeed. Uh, but these raiders are still the same, if uh, not higher leveled slightly. We are still nine, nine, ten levels above them, so not a concern at all. Um, bag attack critical rate, right. And we also have um, stuff like the energy grenade, cross impact for extra power, power charge, demolition, which is just an all-around good attack. All of these things. All of the uh, Alexandria's uh, class is a remarkably good. I thought auto battle was on for a second there, but no, uh, Alexandria's class is a remarkably good uh, class to play around with. It's a very, it's it can be very high damage very quickly, especially on someone like Tyon, which will show in chain attacks at some point, probably. But this is what we were actually here for. The sinister faceplate. I only wonder what that could be. And what is this? An odd triangular shard. That is what we're after. I believe it's right down there. Right where Tyon's head is. That mound of rock. The next objective. I could be wrong. Oh no, it's in a place we haven't been to. It's just past that rock. Which means I can go to... Uh, Zor's a stone hammer and just go north to get it. But before we do, tiny bit more exploration, there's a pond down here. Well, not necessarily a pond, tiny lake, a small reservoir. Whatever metric you want to judge, there is the carafe of plenty. Definitely something you want to get. Or, well, if you are, uh, going after all of the, uh, locations to fill out your map, that is a location to get. So, definitely want to, uh, be aware of that. Well Let's get this chest. Probably just going to be a bunch of Nopon coins. Well, one gold a Nopon coin, so I'll take that at the very least. And then, now that we've gotten that location on the map, let's go north of the the uh, 
something or other, the Coffee of Plenty, and then go to Zorza Stonehammer, which we are now here at, and north, I believe northeast? I can never keep anything in my brain at once. Yeah, basically, basically towards those um, cliffs jutting out, pride rock looking places. It shouldn't be any trouble to get there. A lot of the um, enemies around here, unless they're flying, I believe the Surprons are the only things that are super high leveled in this particular area. The Taos, not sure about the Taos. They might be high level. Let me let me see if I can't figure. Okay, they're still they're still in like the mid twenties. Not not a concern either. Uh, there's probably stuff for us to do then there, but we're not gonna worry about that. I see three three husks one over there one in the center and then one over there at some point i'm just going to do us at some point i'm going to do so much content between between episodes you won't even be able to recognize it i'll be like here is a montage and it'll be like 40 minutes long of just husk 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 item get item get item get item get and then that will be that will be that but uh still haven't done that still still need to do that there are plenty of quests that i need to do to be able to do that so are we any closer oh it's over there so i believe there is a cave over there i don't think i don't think that's the uh the location i believe if i'm not mistaken it's actually up along this ridge one bullock bray hopefully well, even if it isn't, I can just jump down and hopefully survive. That is always the goal, survival. Survival of the fittest, and with Alexandria on our side, how could we do anything other than survive? So where, where is this? It should be around here, probably. Nope, it's not up here at all. It's over there. Oh, I think I remember where it is. I think it's by that chest. I believe it's by that yellow chest or on that particular ridge line. Uh, I'm probably going to drop dead if I drop from this cliff. Let me go against these rocks. Hopefully this will be enough. Oh, we survived just barely. Well, that's fine. Pretty sure it's over here. Oh, I think it might be uh, that, which means I went in the wrong direction because I have to go never been here before. back around Quicksand Basin. Well, I suppose we could do the husks the husks all right while i'm here i'm gonna get the husks and then just get up on that cliff and i mean nothing's going to happen so no need no need to show that off so after some extremely st oh there's another husk i was about to make a witty joke but i see another husk for us well what is this at the very least rusted pressure helms why are there so many corpses around here there's also that chest let me get that chest and then we can actually start making our way to uh colony four hopefully hopefully we can just check in see how everyone's doing hopefully they don't need a lot of supplies because this circuit around ionios is also going to inform our decision on what we do with the supplies that we've gotten from um alexandria's colony from with uh iota that's the name so that is uh, also decisions that are in the back of my mind but without knowing how every colony is actually doing uh i'm not going to uh i'm not gonna make any decisions Ooh, another secret area. I have completely forgot that this was back here, but Serato Springs. Also, uh, something to be aware of, because this place exists. While we're over here, let's get the, uh, some ether channels, because why not? Good thing we found this. Was that Flame Assist? Like, Amethyst and Flames? It is. Wow, that's a, that's a cool concept. Let's get this ether as well. Uh, I, I do, there is a husk out back around in that direction over there, uh, but we are not going to uh, worry about that right away. There's other things to do. Is there a way to get over there? Oh, I think we have to climb the spiral area. I was really close with my prediction, but n not that close. All right, let's get, let's just get back to Colony 4, see how everyone's doing, and then uh, maybe... Yeah, we'll go to co Core, Colony 4, and then to 30 if we have the time. Hopefully, we can do those two colonies today. Oh, lots Don't of people to talk to. No, it isn't. We're still just... We're not even halfway done on the other colony uh, meal, food. Doesn't look like there's actually a lot 
Um, oh, I spoke literally too soon. Gossip. The extra supplies from Colony Iota have arrived. All oh, right, this is completely separate. We haven't chosen to do it. What a relief. We'll need to return the favor someday. I bet that's what they've wanted. Gratitude for supplies. Because they, they mentioned uh, Colony 4 was in some dire straits, and this was completely external to what they gave us permission to hand out. But even more gossip. The tactician squad managed to hunt down a whopper of an armu. Hopefully none of these lead to quests. Sweet, it's been who knows how long since I've had some freshly hunted natural meat. Literally all you have to do is go outside and hunt it down yourself. It's it's really not that hard. Like I I don't recommend trying to fight down and destroy and harvest all of like those dar darbins, darbuses. I don't recommend those, but like there are some garafas nearby, probably, hopefully. There's like wolves at the very least. You could you could do something. Like you could go out and hunt. Is there anyone else? We should probably check in with Boliaris. It's been a hot minute. It doesn't seem like there are a lot of quests, but it does seem like they're doing good. If they if they've already got decent selection, not the not the time. If they've already got decent supplies from Iota, maybe reconsider. We probably don't need to give Colony four. Do I have anything to drop off at you? I don't know if I've fought any new. Uh, I've, I don't know if I have any parts for you, but if I have any more stuff. Wow, 95% to go, and I have nothing new. Oh, that'll be a problem to deal with at some... Yeah, 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 shut up about the, the things. I don't have nearly enough stuff to give you. At some point in the future. Let's go check out Jeremy. Oh my god, it's been a while since we talked to you. How are you doing? Still alive, are you? And you look well, even worse. Spark it. Why is everyone around here such a snuffing goody two-shoes? It can't end like this. It just can't. Well, it can and it has, because I don't even know what you're referring to. Where's Boliaris? I want to talk to Boliaris, then we can do some gossip. And apparently, there's not a lot to be done that I haven't already t undertaken in Colony 30. Well, Colony 4. I can never remember. I can never. It's just a bunch of numbers. I don't go to either of them often enough for me to remember. It just doesn't work that way. My brain can barely handle everything that I normally do in a routine, let alone everything that I'm not doing in a routine. Boliaris, how are things going? Acting commander, you think I'm gonna, you think I'm gonna need to smarten up my act for that? Well, I don't think so necessarily. I'm sure Ethel would be behind whatever you think is right. Thanks. That means a lot. Well, anyhow, looks like the only way is forward. That's how it's got to be, right? To let her legacy live on. It's a good mentality to have. Very good mentality to have, Boliaris. Can I just, uh, I don't suppose I could just, like, uh, jump down here and, uh, hopefully survive? Well, we're here, so hopefully we... Don't I... Don't I... Oh, that was really close. Okay, everyone broke their legs all at once. Let's go talk about this gossip and see how everything is doing. Because one of those gossip topics... Oh my gosh, a fine Alexandria, if you're begging at every time we walk past this place, I'll get you some food and we can discuss how the colony is going. You want some mixed veg torpedo wraps? Do you want a torpedo wrap? You may have it. Yes, 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 it's fine. Oh, what do we have here? It's torpedo wraps and hot steaming soup and fresh bread rolls. Thanks ever so much. You're very welcome. It's what I do. I feed my people occasionally, if I can remember. Let's see Let's see how things are actually doing. Oh, it is a quest. All right, well, gratitude for supplies, and then we'll see how everyone is doing. I just wanted to confirm. Yes, 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 confirm all you'd like. It seems the supplies from Colony Iota are a lifeline for many other colonies. The ones we handed out, yeah, we haven't done that yet. We haven't done that yet. This is this was completely external to us. Don't listen to Lance, he doesn't know what we're doing. Look at, look at Lance. Could someone that filthy ever be trusted with the logistics of food supplies? Well, it's a job well done. It's, it's not a job that we did. Stop trying to claim credit for stuff we didn't do. All we really did was operate to collect the Pedia cards. It's, why is everyone so insistent that we did this? We didn't do this. No, wait, we did do this. Am I the idiot? Oh my god, I'm insulting my compatriots, and they're not I'm the idiot. Because we did, before we got extra permission, we had, like, the quest that demanded us do it to Colony 4. I'm the moron. It's been a while since I recorded the last episode, so I've completely plum done forgot, so, you know. It's 
what happens. If, if you're in any way familiar with my content, you know how easily I forget things. I think it only went as well as it did thanks to Alexandria and Colony Iota stockpiling so many supplies. You've got a point there. I mean, how? I mean, we do the same. How often do we have all the supplies for our quest already gathered because we're, you know, little hoarders ourselves? They're definitely the ones who deserves kudos for coming up with the Collectopedia cards and stuff. I wouldn't say that to Alex's face, though, mind. Hopefully she uh, went to the bathroom because uh, she's in the party, Uni. I don't think I could bear to watch her smile that smug, natural winner's smile again. Oh, really? I kind of like her smile. Same Z's. Not sure you're talking about the same thing. I also feel a little lost now. Well, that's nothing new for you, Tyon. Colony 4 re revitalized. Let's see what this quest is all about, because I'm curious. The mood in Colony 4 seems to be a lot livelier than before somehow. I agree. It's likely because they can access the food and resources they need now. Well, I'm so glad they seem to have weathered the storm. Speaking of food, Colony 4 took down that whopper of an armu, right? Yeah, someone did mention that. Wow, I bet they got a lot of meat out of that thing. I heard they got some amazing cuts from it, like first-rate fillets. I bet they've been stuffing themselves with them all day. First-rate fillets? Oh, that makes me drool so much. I'm about to get dehydrated. Oh, when do I get some, huh? We just ate the burritos. We just ate. We don't need more. What we do need is baths. Everyone is filthy. Think they'd let us have a nibble? Probably they would if you, like, washed up beforehand. Well, I don't know. They might think it a bit presumptuous of us if we come asking. Okay, well, but, but look here. Surely we've helped them out enough to earn at least a few bites, right? Oh, great. All this talk of meat, and now it's the only thing I want to eat. I mean, we could go and hunt our armu down ourselves. Samesies. Don't you dare start copying Senna. That's, that's not, that's not something, that kind of language is not permitted here. Good grief, you people. I am in, I am in league with Dion. Beyond mercy and revenge. Well, sounds like a, an ample quest to do. Oh, we need to do these. We need to do these. We really, they've been here for so long. We will do them. We will do them very soon. Trust okay. me, I'll, we'll get to it. Next on the list is... Going to the canteen, because apparently we're all still extremely hungry. Oh, hey, you lot, you came at just the right time. We got our hands on some high-quality meat recently. Care to try some? Absolutely. Oh, you mean that huge armu you hunted, yeah? Eh, how did you know about that? Is that why you came in the first place? Well, I mean, the gossip is going crazy. People are bragging left, right, and center about that thing. Well, uh, we just heard you had some first-rate fillets and I couldn't stop thinking about them, so... Ah, <laughs> so is that why you schlepped yourselves all the way over here, over this way? I didn't expect you to have such base motivations, gotta say. Well, everyone's gotta eat and wash. Noah, you're disgusting. Oh, everyone, everyone, we need... Boliaris, I don't suppose we could bother you for a shower or a bath or some kind of bathing utility. Our apologies. If we've offended, we'll just go? Nah, it's fine. We already decided we'd treat you as thanks for all your help. So yeah, grab some seats. I'll bring it right out for you. I've got plenty of that first-rate filet you want so much. It's got your names on it. Food. 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 Oh, I'm stuffed. Don't think I've had such tasty meat in all my life. Yeah, me too. I'm almost tearing up over how good it was. As someone who has had very expensive steak in the past. It couldn't do that to you. It definitely earned that first rate part. It melted on my tongue like some kind of huge, juicy, meaty snowflake. Well, depending on, and in this day and age, a meaty snowflake is probably the only kind of snowflake. Indeed, I won't be forgetting this anytime soon. And that au jus, oh, the delicious au jus. D just, mmm, chef's kiss, compliments to the chef. What great feedback. Glad to see my hard work didn't go to waste. Laszlo, you are a first-rate chef in our book. That was super delicious. Thank you so much for everything. Hmm? Something wrong? I... What? My body feels numb. Oh, they tried to kill us. This is... Well, it's not the first assassination attempt we've tried to deal with. Hey, hey, what's going on? Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. Somebody, come quick. I need the med team here. Stat. How long has that army meat been sitting out in the sun? 
It's because they didn't wash their hands. It's just, it's that fast-acting bacteria that just gets under your fingernails. And it really, it, it, it eats through the stomach lining and makes you uh, die. Is everyone all right? Oh, I don't feel right at all. My body feels wrung out. Oh, I feel like I'm going to puke. What the spark happened? It seems we were transported to the medic team after losing consciousness. Let's ask Alessandra what happened. She might know something. Wow, we've officially taken more damage from ill-prepared steaks than we ever have from Mobius. You know, we were fed better in prison than in Colony 4. The prison gruel at least, you know, kept us alive. They, they want to put us... Wow, this, this puts things into perspective, doesn't it? Oh, what a relief. Looks like you're back on your feet. How do you guys feel? Well, my head still feels fuzzy. Any clue what happened to us back there? Well, actually, about that, I'll tell you, but please don't freak out. To be truthful, we found, uh, we found traces of poison in the food you ate earlier. Poison? Relax, please, it won't have any lasting effects. Thank this, thanks to how quickly you received treatment. I mean, considering it was like five paces over there where we were eating, I, I would expect real quick treatment. So does that mean that Laszlo guy put poison in our food? Well, he's actually been questioned by Boliaris in command right now. We should go there, too. What he did was awful, no matter how you slice it. Yeah, there's no gray area to this. We can't let this slide. Uni, now that you've said that in an absolute statement, you can guarantee that this is nothing but a gray area. And I don't just mean that from, like, a general philosophical perspective of their, oh, everything's just a shade of gray and all that. But this is, like, it's just not even going to be shades of gray. It's just going to be one color for the entire spectrum. It's not going to be black and white. Uni, you cannot jinx things like that. That's, that's how everything goes horribly, horribly wrong. Oh, he's up further. All right, well, maybe I could have streamlined the process of talking to people and doing quests better, but, you know... I, I don't have that kind of predisposition to planning. Again, if you're in any way, shape, or form familiar with the content, my ability to plan is uh, non-existent, just like my memorization. Boliaris, let me let me at him. I know he runs his summer camp for talking animals, but we need to we need to interrogate him ourselves. Noah, break out lucky sevens. Ah, oh, there you all are. I'm so happy you're all still breathing. I heard what happened. Sorry to hear you got involved in this kind of mess. Ah, yeah, that's what we came here to talk about. Right. I see. I suppose you must think I'm the culprit. It's so obvious anyone would. But I didn't do it. I swear, you have to believe me. Or so he claims. But who else could have done it if not him? Whoever hunted the Armu, whoever prepared the Armu, whoever delivered the Armu. I mean, there's a lot of people. Could you just uh, wait a bit to... Just wait to decide his punishment. I you can, it just as a favor for us. Why do you ask that? If he didn't do it, as he says, then the real culprit must still be out there somewhere. No? Well, yeah, I suppose. Are you saying you're going to try and catch them? <gasps> I should point out, though, that this isn't your responsibility. You oh, know what? Never mind. I'll stop being an idiot now. After ample, ample time spent working with you guys, I know how gung-ho you get about stuff like this, so... Feel free, do what you need to do, talk to whoever you need. Everything's uh, uh, open and accessible to you guys. I'll leave the inspection to your capable hands. I, on the other hand, am going to keep an eye on good old Laszlo here. I'm sorry, I hate to put you out like this. Don't worry, we'll try and straighten this all out. Lovely sentiment, Mio love, but how exactly do you propose we do that? We should gather info at the very least. Let's check out any places where it could be somewhat relevant. Exactly. Let's look for clues, no matter how trivial they may seem. It's time for the sleuthing episode, where we have to track down some assassins. Can we do the same thing as the other time and just jump off the side of the Piranus? Geronimo, can we land on the wheel? Or the drive shaft? Or, you know, one of these things, whatever it's called? I'm not the the biggest, uh, most knowledgeable person when it comes to the uh, innermost mechanics of the operation of giant Piranuses. They could be called just about anything. Maxi from Team Magma. What? What are you talking about? No, no, I, I, absolutely not, Alexandra. We just. Do you have it? We. 
not only, not only did we have the torpedo wraps before, which is, you know, the cure for cannibalism, we're still, we're still, we, we still need to get that recipe, but we've also just been poisoned by eating the armor steaks. We are not eating anything from the colony until we figure out what's going on, you dense woman. I heard what happened at the canteen, that can't have been fun. All we had to do was just, you know, like, puke our guts out and, you know, spend some few hours on the toilet and everything was hunky-dory. We're looking for clues, though, right now. Could you tell us anything? I know you're the head of the procurement division, so perhaps you know something about the Armu? Yes, of course. I'll tell you everything I know. First of all, the meat you all ate came from a giant Armu that the tactician squad procured. Usually, that kind of catch is examined by us before we hand it over to Kukacha at the colony team. There was no funny business like putting poison in the Armu meat when we were looking at it. So you mean, the meat was first rate when you saw it, eh, uh huh? Senna, keep it in your pocket, and your pants. They're really short, so not a lot of space in there, but you know, make, make it work. This is just guesswork from me, supposition and, you know, probabilistic, but... I think the meat was probably poisoned after we gave it off to the kitchen. So you're saying that it's more likely the poison was added in the cooking stage. Well, that's what I think, at least. It's pure conjecture, though. So maybe it really was Laszlo. Hey, we still don't know that for sure. There might be some other clues around. We need to talk to more and more people. So we have two leads, the kitchen staff as well as the uh, procurement division. Maybe we should talk to Olazandra, get some info about the type of poison that, that she dealt with. Hello there. Hey, Olazandra, we wanted to ask you about the poison. Before you do, let me take this opportunity to apologize. Apologize? What for? The neurotoxin you were given, it, it came from the medical team's stores. Really? Well, it's not meant as a toxin, really. It's supposed to be a pain-relieving medication, but if you overdose, then, well... Can you guess who could have been that took the substance from your stores? Well, it goes without saying that the medic team and I can access it. The only other people I can think of are the soldiers in the tactician squad. Well, that's two potential leads against the tactician squad. They often take some of it on missions to use on any wounded soldiers. I've warned them about it time after time, but I can never be too strict with them. They are putting their lives on the line for us, after all. So the poison came from the medic team, and it was really an inside job by a Colony 4 member then. So I think we might have to have a conversation with the tactician squad. Oh, then also, hmm. Although, we do apparently need to talk to uh, the sh chefs in charge of the preparation of the meat, so... Solon did mention Kukacha, and they're right here. Why Kukacha never ever met someone so rude? Hey, hey, you friends, let Kukacha know and bend your ear a minute. What's up? Something wrong? Kukacha saw a soldier in kitchen earlier, sneaking around, all creepy-like. So Kukacha say please not to go in there, super duper politely. Then he say to Kukacha, shut up, and shove me, and run off like zoom. Then Kukacha fell flat on bottom, it still sting now. Fell on rock, still lodged deep within. I see, that sounds rough, you might want to go to Alishandra to get that checked out. That person had such a bad nature, Kukacha is squad leader, surely have earned some respect. Kukacha is sure they come to pilfer first rate fillets of Laszlo, what greedy manners. Oh. So he went in the kitchen while Laszlo was cooking. That is right, that is right. Is that relevant for something, though? Did you catch a glimpse of his face? Of course, but me forgot it about three ticks later. Oh, Kukacha, you and me, birds of a feather in an upon pea pod. I don't know who this guy was, but he sounds mega suspicious to me. A rude soldier in the kitchen. Let's keep that in the back of our minds for now. Maybe we should talk to Laszlo. He would probably be familiar with all of the uh the kitchen staff so what are we what are we actually doing uh hold the discussion at the rest spot oh right because we were gathering gossip so we should technically talk about it the people have to make so much noise uh they absolutely do we should really wash up we really need to wash up the poisoner i, I was to about talk. to say potioner but that's probably from something different let's summarize all the information we've gathered so far then First of all, the poison used in the attack is a medicine purloined from the medic team. We also know there's a high chance that the poison was put in during the cooking stages. So that soldier from another unit must have slipped into the kitchen and done it then. 
If Laszlo really isn't the baddie, then that person would be mega suspicious. But we still have no idea who that could even be. Well, let's go over the facts, carefully, one at a time. The people who could access the poison are the medical team and the tactician squad. And then there was the soldier in the kitchen with a bad nature, a cooler, a, according to Kurkacha. That was a tongue twister for some reason. Are there any bad-natured soldiers in the medical team or the tactician squad? Oh, Sparks. W what's wrong, Zena? Mimi, I know. I know who the culprit is. What? It has to be him. I don't know about the medical team, but in the tactician squad, there's one bad-natured soldier. Oh, I know who you mean. It must be that guy, yeah? It's gotta be Jeremy from the tactician squad. Laszlo from the colony. One of us! It's one of us! Uh, Lance, now's not the time for jokes. M -m My bad, just thought I'd ease the tension a little. You're so clueless sometimes, you spoon. It's Jeremy from the tactician squad, he's an asshole. Ah, oh, him. I remember him, he's the soldier who randomly started butting heads with us. And threatened to shoot us. I mean, he's, if anyone's bad natured, it would be someone like him. He could get his hands on the poison, and we all know he has a bad nature. He also told Mia to watch for poison before. It did sign, kind of sound like a threat. That has to be our guy, no doubt about it. Wait a minute, Senna, we still don't know for sure. He was openly hostile to us, so there's clear motive. Crap, he won't get away with this. Just wait till I find that mutter. I said wait. Mio? Calm down, everybody. Let's just talk to Laszlo one more time first. I'm sure he's been anxiously waiting to hear what we have to say. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. You okay, Mimi? I suppose there's only one thing. Well, we do, we have to we have to keep our uh, superiors. We have to keep our friends at the very least. Our friends in charge, way high up in the chain of command. And, you know, elevation-wise, can we just... I think we have a warps point all the way up there. Can we just, uh... Not the hatch. The command. Right, we can. That makes things easy and simple, so we don't have to climb this entire thing. But, Liaris, we have a lead. And we have conjecture. Laszlo, you good? Hmm, seems that Colony 4 is still quite divided. Is it, though? Is it really? Well, I mean, with an assassination attempt, apparently. There probably is a bit of division. There you are. There you all are. Well, did you catch the culprit? Before we go on about that, we need to ask, do you know Jeremy, the tactician? Oh, yeah, of course, we're in the same team. Term. Wait, are you telling me he's the culprit? We're not certain yet, but there's a high possibility it's him, yeah. No way. I mean, yes way, he's certainly capable of such a thing. Indeed. He didn't seem too keen on us before. Heh. <laughs> You're not the only ones. I have the feeling he's not too fond of me, either. Ah. I actually used to belong to the tactician squad, but got injured in battle and transferred to the kitchens. Back then, my two teammates were Jeremy and our dear friend Mercutio. 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 Mercury Man. Wait, is that the, isn't that the soldier who fought against Colony Psy and... Jeremy probably hates me just as much as the Agnians who killed our friend. Just for taking you guys in. So that's why he tried to pin the blame on you after trying to poison us. Alright, we get the picture. We can hear the rest after we catch him. Wait, hold on. Please let me come with you. Uh, weren't you under arrest? I mean, if you guys are good with it, I'm good with it. Whoa, stutters. The computer is exploding for some reason. Should probably look into that. That's just the power of Boliaris's cognitive strength. He's thinking so hard, the reality itself has to pause for a second to catch up. It's alright, you can go. I'll take responsibility. Just short, sh short this mess shout. Acting Commander, thank you so much. In that case, we just need to find out where he is. It's probably quicker to ask Captain Maxi where he is, since he's Jeremy's superior. Good thinking. Let's hurry up and catch this miscreant. Mio seems quite uncertain about all of this. But Mio is always of the compassionate sort. So 
that's the state of affairs. Yes, it is. Can we just, uh, where is it? Oh, he's probably in the command room. Can we just jump off, please? Very good, very quick and easy. Maxi, I have questions. Maxi, how's Team Magma doing? Hey, Captain Maxi, do you know where Jeremy is? Oh, hello, Laszlo. I thought I heard Bully Ars took you into custody. We'll explain the details later. Can you just tell us where Jeremy is first, please? He's on patrol duty with Yord. It seemed quite urgent. Floron. Yes, sir, boss man, sir. Take this lot down Route 3C and convene with... Convene... Con... con Wow, that word is th really throwing me for a loop. Convene with Jeremy's patrol, post haste. Got it, sir. They should be near the Danag Desert. It's a bit of a trek, so bear with it. No trouble at all for us. We can just uh, skip travel over there ourselves. We can talk about all of the different things. Okay, they're right over there. So we can just go to Raptor Perch. Pretty sure this is a campsite, I think. Yeah. No, not a campsite, but really close by. Is this where those level 60 plus enemies are? I mean, we at this stage, I think we might be able to uh, stand against them if we were careful, but I don't want to risk Is something that like, like that. A rare thing? The Griffox fossil, I mean, technically, or unless you're talking about the Anarchy Orchid, which is a flower that I would desperately like to have on my uh, on my table. <laughs> Powdered wheat. So we just have a bunch of flour. There's just... How... This is a desert with a bunch of sand. And how... how Tyon, how would you be able to tell the difference between sand and flour? They're functionally the same thing. Please jump up here. Oh, Yord is dead. Although she still has a star bar in her name, so... Maybe she's not dead. What is going on? Yord! What's wrong? What happened? Where's that snuffin' Jeremy? Ah, uh, Jeremy. He... When he saw you approaching, he suddenly spiraled into a complete panic. Then he whacked me on the head and... Tore up my Microsoft Dinosaur CD. Probably thinking and trying to knock me out. Ugh, doesn't he know life isn't like the movies? Just hitting someone on the head isn't enough to knock them out. You're more likely to do brain damage and give them a concussion than to knock them unconscious. Ugh, that... Asshole! How could he do this to his own patrol mate? He won't get away with this. Take it easy, Floron. You just take care of Yord's wounds for now. We'll go chase after Jeremy. Someone needs to look after her. Now look here. <sighs> Fine. All right, understood. Just be sure to give him a whack upside the chin for me, you hear? Let's go follow him while we still can see his footprints. Come on, hurry on. Hurry up. Hurry. We will. We just need to find them, compute the optimal so trajectory the with the sparkly the sprinkle tingle in our iris. I wonder where he got off to. He's probably just running in some random direction. We have to hunt this guy down. Oh, there's the husk that we were uh, that we were talking about. Yes, yes, yes. The de desert Hulk. I uh, will come back to that. We'll come back to that. Probably in the next episode, we'll just. I'll start with having clear... Yeah, that's that's the, the plan. Uh, for the next episode, uh, I will just clear out all of the monsters that we need to fight, and you guys won't have to worry about that. I can just start off by saying, I've cleaned the monsters. We are good to go. So, you guys... All you guys need to do is just let me worry about that, and uh, it'll be lovely. Oh, the stutters. Everything about this is going to uh, make the universe pause, isn't it? Where is it? He's probably under this rock. All cowards hide under rocks. Unless he's gone to the thematic place in the middle of a sinkhole, which is, you know, equally likely. Where did he go? He's He's gone real far out of the way, which is a curious thing. Unless he's gone to that thematic place with the pride rock outcropping. Nope, there he is. I'm just blind. He's being cornered by scorepoxes and other things. Jeremy! Oh, he's cradling his arm in a la a Vegeta. Ugh. Hey, you haven't been on the front lines in a while, have you? Just hang back. Let us deal with this. Huh? Are you trying to help him? 
Yeah, we'll deal with this. You just stay back and call out where they're trying to flank us. All right, I'll stay out of your way. So what do we have to deal with? Probably nothing important. Level mi mid 40s is my bet. Ooh, 50s, I am surprised. Well, high 40s. Let's focus down on one of them at a time. That way we can get that break. Lovely, fantastic. Go for crit during enemy art. Got that during mock punch, I think. I think it was mock punch. Go for that back critical rate. You definitely want to take down all of these uh, tiny score poxes. I'm pretty sure the score poxes can poison you because that's what uh, score poxes do. Can we do, okay, so we need to, to recharge the Agni and Arts, we need to do auto attacks. So that is something to keep in mind. What are we focusing on? Uh, do enemy art and then do Sidewinder. Oh, we have to be from the, the back. Okay, that's another one of those. Get rid of the Hedrid Scorpox. Uh, go for the side break. Very good, so much power, so much power child's play this is this is a real good team setup i think we're doing a lot of damage can we do um i do want to get the chain attack on the big one so can we get don't do the big one do um jeremy's just desserts is this really just desserts though or is this just um us being kind oh let's do the chain attack while he's broken hopefully we can hopefully someone has a topple and we can take advantage Chain attack. Uh, yeah, let's do Whistling Blades. During chain attack, increases critical hit rate, which is good. Um, when first in line, it makes all attacks critical. Yeah, let's lead with Alexandria. Do... Do Sidewinder. Sidewinder is quite powerful when it's actually done well. Uh, and now we can do... Let's do Tyon as well. Do... Do, 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 do Glitter Stream and Cross Impact. Uh, that's pretty a uh, powerful attack. That will get us up to 120, which will bring back either Alexandria or Tyon, which is more than fine by me. Make all of our attacks critical. Very powerful. Okay, Alexandria is the one who comes back, which is good. Let's do Mio. And then do Alexandria again. Uh, side break. Is that the multi hit move? No, that's just a single hit move. It might be the last move that does more than one damage. And then do Mio herself. Does Mio not have... Ooh, right, I forgot to put accessories, and that means a bunch of people have no moves, probably. Something to do between episodes, because it's been working out rather well for us so far, so... As long as I remember to update the move set, we should be good. Lightning quick. Yeah, just get rid of this. Mio is a very powerful person. As well as Ethel's class. Oh, Mio's the one who comes back. Lovely. Um, just do, just do tie on. Yeah, definitely want to do tie on. Uh, do do Mio. Do another cross impact. Get that power charge going. And then do. Um, there's mm, Uni. Uni might be able to get us to. Yeah, do Uni. Does anyone have a uh, topple? It doesn't look like anyone has topple, which explains a lot. So just do, uh, just do uni. Oh, three points shy. Well, that's fine. Uh, do Senna this time. Just do, um, Demon Slayer. Give it some pokes. Give it some pokes. So this should bring back probably Alexandria, and then we can just, uh, end this. Lovely overkill. So much damage. 120,000 damage from a single attack. Very nice. Oh, okay. Well, if it's Tyon, I guess we gotta do Uni. Which is, is still fair and fine. Uh, Illuminous Illusion. Yeah, that's the multi-hit move. That's the move you want to use, probably, for several good combos. Especially if you're getting lots of damage multipliers on those from critical hits as well as other skills. Brilliant Ascension. Uh, let's just, let's just fin finish this quickly. We don't need to do anything else. It's already, it's already in an overkill state, so it'll be good. Brilliant Ascension. That's, that's the final word. That's all you have to say. Just Brilliant Ascension, destroy them. 
I know it, Tyon. Let's just let's just get rid of this. We don't need to do anything fancy to beat the Rabiga Scorepoxes. We probably could have cut this fight out entirely, but you know, a million damage. It would have been a million if I had actually outfitted the the party properly. Jeremy, you put the poison in their food, didn't you? <laughs> so you figured it out. If you're gonna kill me, just hurry up and do it. Stop talking nonsense. You know Mercutio wouldn't have wanted this. What the snuff do you know about him? You just ran away from the fight, you coward. You don't get a say. Ugh. You're a traitor to your friends, sending the past aside like that. Like you've plain forgotten about Mercutio. He'd be ashamed of you kissing up to the enemy like this. You're wrong about me. All I did was... Whatever you might think, none of that is an excuse to lash out against your comrades. I'm not listening to a word out of a snuff an Agnian has to say. Mimi! I wasn't joking when I said you could shoot me if you want to. Shut up. I don't want to hear any more from you. But, looking at you now, I'm pretty sure you won't shoot. Shut your trap! If you want me to kill you that badly, I'll make sure I finish the job this time. Ugh. Crap. It's enough at all. Why? How did it come to this? What did I do wrong? Are you saying I'm the traitor? My friend was killed. I can never forget that. Why can't I shoot? Snuff it. Hmm. I'll take Jeremy back to the colony. It's okay if I take over from here, right? I'm sorry, Laszlo. It's not your fault. It's actually nobody's fault. It's the war's fault. But at some point, someone's going to have to put an end to it all. Hopefully. I'm talking about you, Ouroboros. I'm sure he gets that, too. <sighs> it's not my place to ask you this. But will you please come back later to check in on us? Yeah. Of course we will. In the midst of endless fighting like this, it's going to be, uh, there's going to be undoubtedly tough decisions like this to make. Ranks up for everyone. We're finally getting that message again. Let's go, let's go, let's go back and check up on them. Before this episode ends, let's go and, oh, that's the Hulk. We can worry about that later on. Let's go see, let's go see how things turned out. Don't you think it's about time for a meal? Yord, how are you doing? How's everything been? Since the incident, a lot of people in the colony are starting to condemn Jeremy for what he did. It's understandable, but it ultimately won't solve anything to drive him to the edge like that. It's all one big mess at the moment, isn't it? Especially given Jeremy's motives. Yeah. I mean, I just want to find a peaceful resolution to it all, as a member of the Tactician Squad. So that's the state of affairs. Laszlo, how about you? How things are working out? Kukacha is a bit of a slow poke at times, but her cooking ability is first rate among all of Keva. Silver, silver rank cuisine, I'll say. Or why are we talking about the Nopon? Yeah, the Nopon's onto something. The most, the most paltry, nasty ingredients are transformed into incredible dishes. I guess we don't care about. So that's the state of affairs. Laszlo, please. It's going to take a whole lot more than just an apology to make amends for what Jeremy did. He's going to get a suitable punishment for this. I don't think he's got a leg to stand on in Colony 4, either. Even so, I still believe in him. If I didn't, he'd be on his own right now, that's for sure. Mercutio would have ne would have done the same, I think. That's what friends do, right? Probably. So that's the, state of affairs. the news has reached us. Apparently, Kevas aren't the only ones with a fake queen. The Monarch of Agnes is a fake, too, right? That is true. I suppose we should probably talk to more people... If we are three levels of news behind, we really need to talk to people. 
Finding out like that really made me think, you know? Like, why is it we've been doing all this fighting for so long? I'm sorry, that's probably a question for the future. It doesn't matter right now. I already decided what I was fighting for a while back. For Colony 4, and for you guys. We should really talk to more people. Uh, I want to I wanna talk to, if we can find him, I want to talk to... Um, Floron, you're here as well, but Jeremy as well as Boliaris. Hey, Laszlo told me about Jeremy. I can't forgive him for hurting Yord like that. To be honest, I feel like I need to give him a good punch to settle it. But when I think about how isolated and driven into a corner he was, I realize that it would have been much better if we'd talk with him and, and thrashed it out with the tactician squad. So that's the state of affairs? Probably. Where is he? I know, isn't he normally around here? Dinzel, you're not the person I wish to talk to. Mm, he might be up around here. If we can't find him, it's no big deal, but I would like I would like to chat if possible. Is he in here? He's not in here. Let's go let's go let's go see Boliaris at the very least. Ooh, a husk off in the distance. Oh, of course there's they're they're everywhere. They are everywhere. Excuse me, Mr. Nopon. I just have a, an appointment with the acting commander. Uh, war makes monsters of us all, doesn't it? <laughs> Always some extenuating circumstance. Boliaris, you don't even have anything new to say. Acting commander, uh, you need to smarten up your act for that. All right, well, where is... Ooh, this, right. I don't think, I, I never did this before. Or well, I've done this in the past, but not in this playthrough. Uh, there is a, a thing to grind on to get this. I genuinely thought this was in Colony 9, which is why I didn't do this before. But there is a chest. Gold and up on coin. Good for us. Where is Jeremy? Floron. I do, if if possible, I want, I want to see if we can't speak with him. Imogene. Maybe he's out around this area. Solon, Maxi. Maxi, do you have anything new to say about the situation? Jeremy's been sent to the guardhouse. He'll be locked away there for a little while, I think. He's surely worthy of stiff punishment for what he did to you, but I can try and knock some sense into him if you let me. Well, that's kind of you. He's one of mine, so it should fall to me to set him back on the right path. There's still a war on, after all. Yeah, still colonies out there that we haven't freed. So if he's in the guardhouse, where is that? Nabok, that's not someone we need to talk to. Guardhouse, the barracks. I know where the barracks is. Where is the guardhouse? Have we ever ever seen the guardhouse? More, that's the barracks. That's another bit of the barracks. This is the supply tent. Hmm, I have no idea where he is because these are these are the medical tents, and that's the washroom. And I don't think it's inside the Pharaonis, so I suppose we're just going to have to wonder. He's he's almost certainly going to be getting his just desserts and proper punishment, so we don't have to worry about that overly much. But we uh, this episode has gone on for long enough, so we are going to end things. We're going to leave things off by... Going to the colony, right to the entrance of Colony 30, so I know exactly what I'm doing for the next episode. The Veronis Hulk, which is, uh, who knows. Uh, this was, uh, another episode. We've done one side quest, which is one more side quest down, so I am not going to say no to any of that. So, whether you guys watched for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next episode. Later!